Good morning, everybody. It is the 15th of the month again. Can you believe it? My goodness. Flies. Here we are at Always in Stitches in Noblesville, Indiana. I'm Dawn, and I am sharing my needle punch for the month. I finished the Mr. Crow, and I put him on this antique jar. I got this jar for $8 at the flea market. I love it. It's really, really old. I couldn't get the crusties off the, the lid around there. But anyway, I've got an antique uh, enamel pot lid that I put on it. And I'm, I don't have my buttons in it, but I keep buttons in it. And I took my buttons out because uh, I've got to leave my uh, sample in the store for a while. So I took all my buttons out. But usually it has my all my black buttons in this jar right here. So uh, that's fun. And um, I just glued it on. I What I did was I uh, put it on my uh, museum, not museum, comic book board. And then I uh, actually, if you want to see the inside... I also put a blue piece of fabric. I just put some stabilizer on a piece of fabric just to make it a little bit stiff. And I sandwiched those together so that when the jar was empty, it wouldn't have a goobery back. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It'd have a nice looking back. And then I took my E6000. Now, I used to buy E6000 in those big gigantic tubes, but I don't use it often enough. So I started buying them in these little things, and I like this a lot better because I can use up one of these and then they stay fresh until the next time I need to go get one. So I like that, and I was looking out at our um, out at our glue today. We don't carry E6000, we carry this, which is what I use to glue the fabric onto my comic book board. And I, I do use a lot of this, and I buy this like this, but I didn't know it even came in these little ones. So if you don't use, do a lot of gluing with fabric, then buy it in this little uh, um, tubes, because then that'll stay fresh, and you won't be, it, this dries out pretty, I mean, it's a fast drying glue. So if you don't use it quite a bit, it, it uh, dries out on you. <coughs> so anyway, after I put the glue on, then I just set it on my surface like that. <laughs> and the weight of the jar just held it down so that it glued right in place. I let it glue for about 20, well, maybe 12 and a half hours. I was going to say 24, but just overnight, you know, 12 and a half hours, something like that. So that was last month. This month, I showed uh, my uh, needle punch to Nancy and she says to me, well, how are you going to do it? And I said, well, Miss Nancy, I just don't know. I'm going to take me a trip to Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to walk down, up and down every single aisle. I took Dad with me. He enjoyed it very much. And uh, I'm going to see what I can find. So the very first aisle I went down, I found this nifty, neato cutting board. And what I want you to do, Peter, is get in on the skew there so they can see... And of, to hold it that oh, still. I'm sorry. They can see that, and then I'm going to flip it over, and it is in the fall <sighs> section, okay? So it was 40% off in the fall, it's fall rustic autumn tableware. Don't use it for, oh no, it says food safe, hand wash only, so that's nice. But it's I'm going to go buy me one for it's cutting board. It's a beautiful board. cutting board. That's nicer than the ones they and have it's at the... A beautiful cutting at board. the William it's, Sonoma. It's got a beveled edge. I love the shape. Isn't that nice? That nice. was in the very first style I went down because the new fall stuff is out. But then I went down the other aisles and I found this. This is kind of a fun little thing. It's, yeah, it is. Here, let me show you the tag on it so you can see. It's in their everyday unfinished wood section. Okay. And you can wait till that section goes on uh, forty percent off. But it it will either hang, oh, that's cool. or be an easel. <sighs> Isn't that nice? So I know I'm going to come up with something to do with that. But I bought them thinking, oh, they both would work because this is what my needle punch this month looks like. This chick loves flowers, is what it's called. This chick loves flowers. So I put it on there. Dad and I liked it on there okay. 
you know, we thought it looked just fine on there. Don't you think it looks fine on there? I love it on there, Dawn. But then, but then. But then what? Then when I put it on this board, oh, no, you know, you didn't. the inclination would be to put it right in the middle. And that would be pretty, wouldn't it? But look what I found. What'd you do? I found these letters, these words. And they come in a package that looks like this. Oh, hold on. Let me zoom in the zoomer here. Zoom it in with the zoomer. And I'm going to turn it over so you can see. And if you can order it online, I bet you can. On their website, if you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you, you can probably order it online. Sorry about the shaking, you guys. It's, it's a, hard it's to hold it still. It's also in their, you know, in their fall. Cause, so it's 40% off. And they have three words. Great, uh, grateful, thankful, and blessed. No stressed. No stressed. And look at this. Oh, and it looks like there's two of each word, is it? Dawn? There's two of each word. That's nice. And I'm just going to glue that. And look, it's I'm uncanny not gonna, how well it matches. Dawn. I'm not going to stain it or anything because no. look, it brings out the color of my chicken. It's a buff Orpington chicken. Isn't that cute? I was going to try and find a square frying pan, but I thought, ooh, that kind of is creepy. Because <laughs> it's a chicken. <laughs> you finally got it. I Peter. finally got it. <laughs> That's the kind of sense of humor I have, see? But I found these Lady Dot, oh, are they Lady Dot or are they Dames of the Needle? And they are called Nick's Coat. On our website. It, right here, yeah, right here in the shop. And they are these little pom-poms. And I thought they would just would look cute around the edge. Now let me show you the back of this. See, there's my uh, comic board. It's just kind of like poster board, mm. but it's a little denser than poster oh, okay. board, but thinner. So I don't know how they get it to be denser, but thinner. And then all I did was just glue it down. It's still tacky right there. I'm going to have to come in and clip my corners a little bit because they got a little fuzzy. But then I'm just going to take my uh, pom-poms. And, and staple just, it with a staple gun? No, I'm going to glue it with my uh, fabric, my fabric glue. Oh. Yeah, that's what the fabric glue is for. I'm gotcha. just going to glue those in place. Just like that. Oh, look, that one got a little wimpy. I'll have to check, see about that. But anyway, won't that look cute? And then when I put it on my board, I'm going to offset it. So that it can fit my word blessed in there. And I just think that that's just going to be so, such a cute little thing. And very different, don't you think? Yeah. Different than anything we've done. That's, you know, the, I really love the way that's coming together. Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. So I didn't particularly, I wasn't really fond of this piece. I'm not a fan of chickens. And you picked uh, different, not to interrupt, but um, you picked different colors? No, or did I you didn't. Use all the call I went all with the called for colors that oh. she called for. That's, uh, and that's a first. Yeah. What I found was really interesting on this is I always do the background last and these little dark places in the background. So the background really is two steps, these little dark spots, and then you go around everything with the other color. This uh, really bright green is called Bullfrog. It's a week's dye works and uh, we're having trouble getting it. So they promised we could have it by the 19th. Now, we've had promises before, okay? So I'm not going to promise you because I just don't know um, if I can fulfill that promise. But before the end of the month, hopefully, we'll have these kits. We always try to like to have them by the 15th, but we are always at the discretion of the uh, manufacturer of the floss. And this... Um, Bullfrog, I think, takes like eight skeins or something like that. It's craziness. So it takes a lot to fill this in. This is a bigger project. That I think this is the biggest one that we've done so oh, far. Oh, yeah, it is. And then next month is going to be my favorite one in the whole book. And it is The Heart and the Hand. All good works. Nice. So I am i can't wait to do that. Um that's going to be fun. And if you have the book, you can see it, but I won't show it on camera. 
because it's a pattern, right, right? Right, right. You can show this part. You just can't show the flosses. Oh, okay. So, yeah. And uh, so anyway, we... Um, I've already got the flosses pulled for that, and um, I'm going to put some Valdonis in there because that's a lot of background, and that hand is a pretty big, uh, and so instead of having to re-thread your needle when you use that Valdani ball that comes, you know, in a little ball like that, and it just feeds off the ball, it really goes a lot faster. So I'm looking to use Valdani in that. So I hope you're keeping up. I haven't seen any pictures on the Insiders page. I haven't either. And remember we said last month, we said anybody who posts a picture in our Insiders group, it's always in Stitches, our Facebook group, and then we have a special one that's called Insiders. So just in your search engine, put always in Stitches, Insiders, and it'll come up. And then you ask to join, Cappy will let you join, then you take a picture and you post it to the Insiders group. And we promised that we were gonna give away three Valdani uh, balls of floss. Well, for posting a picture of punch needle. For posting your picture of any of the projects that we've done so far. And we didn't have any takers. Not one person participated. Somebody could have won. If one person had come. They would have got the floss. They would have got the floss. You see how that works? So let's try and uh, get some of our projects done so that uh, we can post them on our insiders group. I'm excited about this one. I wasn't when I when I was punching this. I like I said I, I'm I don't care for chickens. My friend Tammy she likes chickens. Maybe this will be a birthday or Christmas present for her sometime. But anyway, uh, but then I got excited when I found the cutting board. See, you can cut up a chicken on a cutting board too. <laughs> just saying, just saying. And but then she's blessed because she didn't get cut up by the cutting board on the cutting board. <laughs> And then I'm going to save this little project for something else. I don't know, but it'll be a, something fun. So I hope you're punching. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you still know how to do it. I'll tell you, after this uh, year is up, I will have a lot of punch needle under my belt. And uh, I don't know. I may even have to buy another needle because this one's getting a dull again. I've already bought one this year. So, but when you're punching every month, it takes, you know, it takes a lot. This one did take quite a bit of time. I'd say this one took the most time of all of them that I've punched so far. So there you go. That's this month's punch needle. Jennifer will be calling you as soon as those kits are available. Like I said, we've got everything except for that bullfrog, that background color, and we're just waiting on it to come in. And as soon as it comes in, we'll get those kits made and we'll get them right out to you. We'll get, you'll get a phone call and, um, so catch up it gives you a little bit more extra time to get caught up and take pictures and let us see it okay happy punching everyone bye